A few years back, I visited a maximum security jail with a group of volunteers. We went from cell block to cell block bringing music and handing out cookies and just bringing a simple message of encouragement that God loved these guys whatever they had done. I'd been on similar visits before, but this time something special happened. It happened in cell block 3. The band began to sing Amazing Grace. Now in all the other blocks, these streetwise inmates had been really reluctant to join in, but here, almost everyone joined in. Some closed their eyes and started singing from their hearts. Some began to cry. One man was particularly moved, and our leader, Kevin, walked over, put his arm around the guy, and heard his story. This man was now on his third sentence, each time for serious crimes that he had denied doing. But now something was changing. He looked at Kevin and he said, First thing tomorrow morning, I'm calling my lawyer and I'm telling him I'm pleading guilty. Now that decision had major ramifications for his victims, for society, and for his own future. In John 16, Jesus says one of the Holy Spirit's tasks is to convict us of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Truth frees, repentance liberates, and so the Spirit helps us to face up to the wrong that we have done. Only then can we be truly free inside. Only then can those we've hurt truly heal. So when you feel moved to come clean and set records straight over something wrong that you have done, expect the Holy Spirit to be nearby. His job is to free spiritual captives.